Have I scored with these plastic pumpkins? Stay tuned! Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Norma Jean Thrift With Me. I am Norma Jean and I live in the Los Angeles area. I love all things vintage and shop my local thrift stores, Goodwills, estate sales, yard sales, and flea markets in search of those vintage items. I'm also a new YouTube creator, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please help me reach my 1,000 subscriber mark. Today I have a thrifting video for you, so stay tuned and let's roll. Hello friends, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm at Desert Industries, another local thrift store. Immediately this bowl catches my eye. It's only a dollar, but it's not marked, so I put it back. I'm starting in the clear plate section. As you can see, Lots of clear plates, lots of clear platters. Let's see what we can find. So now we're in the ceramic plate section. Lots of plates, different shapes, different sizes. I spot this coffee cup. It's a Corel Woodland Brown pattern. I put it back. They don't have a huge resale value. We're still here in the ceramic plate section looking for anything vintage, more Corel there. Then I spot this really pretty plate with lots of spring flowers around. I'm gonna try to turn that around. It's a modern piece and there's only one. I would have picked it up if there was a pair. But there's only one so I'm gonna leave it behind. I spot these Woodland Brown Corel saucers. They don't have a high resale value, so I leave those behind. More Woodland Brown saucers. They're priced at 75 cents. Let's see what else we can find. I see more Corel. I think that's the green onion pattern. But we're going to leave that behind. Let's look on the top shelf. They still have um, an overflow of Christmas mugs. I don't see anything vintage up here though. They just have a variety of mugs up here. Lots and lots of mugs and plates. There's a Marilyn Monroe mug. Some brown coffee mugs. These orange uh, coffee mugs catch my eye, but when I turn them around, they're Ikea. So I leave those behind. I do like this pattern. However, when I turned it around, it was a modern piece. So I leave that behind. Let's see what else we can find. I am now in the clear glass mason jar section. They have lots and lots of mason jars. Thrift stores are a great place to find those items at very um, affordable prices. I like to go through the clear glass section because you just never know what you might find. thought these were heavy and they're not. 
You might find higher end clear glass like Baccarat. I have found some of those pieces. I like that decanter, but when I picked it up, it was very lightweight. Let's see what else we find. I do like this glass, but it's not marked and it's lightweight. I think it's pretty though. They want 75 cents for it. I leave that behind. They had just all these glasses with some sort of label. I didn't bother to pick them up. I did like this small pottery piece. I like the color. I see some sort of mark down here. I'm trying to focus in. I like the color and I like the glaze and it was um, $2. So I'm looking for chips or cracks. It seems to be in really good condition. I'm gonna pop it in my cart and do some research. I then spot these beautiful uh, cobalt blue tumblers and they're heavy. They're hand blown, but I think they're hand blown in Mexico and I can tell because of the bubbles, they're very inconsistent. Look at how pretty that color is though. And they're extremely heavy. They're tall tumblers too. There's the panel. There's only two of them, so I am going to take those and pop them in my cart and do some research. So now we're back at the stemware section. See what we can find. I spot this um, wine goblet. It has some um, holly design on it. It's, an, it's a Christmas goblet. But there's only one. And I'm going to leave that behind. Lots and lots of clear glass as you can see. I do spot these martini glasses, but when I picked them up, they were very lightweight, so I left them behind for someone else. Let's look. I also spot these cobalt blue martini glasses, but again, when I picked them up, they were very lightweight, so I'm leaving them behind for someone else. Let's look on this top shelf. Looking. Oh, these are fun. These are um, ice cream sundae dessert cups. Very fun. So I'm in the art section now looking around to see if I could see some vintage prints or oil paintings. But I don't see very much. They have a very limited selection here. I do spot this um, horse print, the two riders on the horses, but it's an unsigned piece and they want $10 for it, so I'm leaving that behind. So now we're in the stuffed animal section. 
I like to go through this section to see if I can find either vintage stuffed animals or new stuffed animals with tags. But I don't see any today, so I move on to the beach section. As you can see, they have lots of beach bags. They have sandals and they have sun hats. So I'm still looking through this section and this pink Halloween candy holder catches my eye. It's a really pretty color. So in my cart it goes so I can research it. I already have the orange and the black one in my cart. So I'm going to go on eBay and see if I can find any comps and see if they're worth picking up. So now we're in the toy section. As you can see, there's lots and lots of toys. Toys are not my forte, but I'm always looking for um, sealed board games or toys with new tags on them. They have lots and lots of games. They have puzzles. Look at that life game, that kitty puzzle. Just lots and lots of uh, games. And we're back in the stuffed animal section. So now we're in the section where they keep all the big toys and forgive all the noise I have someone right next to me rummaging through all this section. I decide to take a look at their furniture section. They have some really interesting pieces here like this walnut table here. It's an end table. The kind that would go at the end on either side of your couch. Look at these darker wood tables. Oh my goodness. I remember those from the 1970s. They're in beautiful condition. Let's see how much they want for them. I cannot make out the tag. Hmm. Let's look on the other side. Still can't make it out. Oh, these tables are awesome. Look at this piece here. Oh my goodness. I love it. Trying to look for the price, but look at this piece. I love the handles. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, it's just an old fashioned desk. This piece looks really heavy. Now we're in the knickknack section, and I believe this piece is Makasa. It's pretty heavy. They want $7.99 for that piece. Wow. I leave it behind.
I do like this Anchor Hawking Green Compote Bowl, but they want $5.99 for it. So I leave it behind for someone else. Let's see what else they have. I then spot this really pretty aqua blue fish platter or serving dish. I really like it. It's a modern piece. I should have picked it up and I regret not picking it up. Let's see what they have in this assorted glassware section. Lots of bottles, lots of assorted um, dishes. Let's see. Let's look on this top shelf. I find these salt and pepper shakers. One of them is missing its stopper. They do look vintage, but I decide to leave them behind. Let's see what else they have. We're in the plastics section now. More clear glass. This is the end cap of the aisle. Let's look on the top shelf, see what they have. Lots of clear glass, lots of mugs. Here is a frosted Star Trek Academy mug. Hmm. Seems to be in really good condition. They want $2.49 for it. Then there's this mug. It's like an anniversary CIA type of mug. They want $2.49 for the mug. I put that in my card. I have to research that. So let's see what they have in the stemware section. This is a pretty fall wine glass. I love these ruby red goblets, but they want $2.49 for each. I thought that was too pricey. I then spot these cobalt blue goblets. Again, they're priced at $2.49 each. I, I find that to be way too pricey for me. So I leave them behind. More clear glass. These are Princess House um, goblets. They're really pretty. They're priced at $2.99 each. I pass and leave them for someone else. Then I spot these amber ones. Again, $2.49 each. Thought that was a bit pricey, so I left them behind for someone else. Then I spot this vintage coin design goblet. I leave it behind. It's just one, so. I leave it behind for someone else.
I spot these really fun green swirl dessert glasses. They want $2.99 for them. Then I look up and see these beautiful cobalt flutes and they want $2.99 for those as well. So I am just going to pass. I thought they were too pricey. Let's see what else we can see. I like those tumblers. I like those cobalt blue tumblers. Very nice. Let's see. I take a look at this glass. It has etching on it. And when I turn it around, it's uh, one of the characters from Snow White, the little dwarf. It's etched into the glass, but I'm leaving it behind. Then I spot these four Star Wars tumblers. They want $3.49 for each, which I thought was extremely pricey. So I take a look, but I leave those behind. This vintage glass catches my eye, but I put it back because there's only one. Then I look up and see these amazing mid-century modern atomic 8-ounce glasses. They were amazing. They're $2.49 each, but I decide they are worth it. I think this these will sell very well. There is six of them, so in my card they go. I'm trying to carefully put those in there. Don't want them to chip or crack on my watch. And there they are. This was the best find of the day. I did pop that single glass in my cart, but later I decided not to take it and left it behind. I did pick up this garden statue though. This is a lovely piece. It's ceramic and metal. There's a 14 inch one and a 10 inch one. They are very pretty. We're back at the colored glass section and I look I see these vintage glasses, but they're priced at $2.99 each, and I just thought it was too high, so I left them behind. Then I look down here and spot these um, Corel saucer and cup sets, and I love this pattern. I actually collect this pattern, but they were priced at $3.99 each, and I just thought it was too pricey. More of these vintage glasses. I actually pick that those two glasses up. They're clear glasses and they match a um, decanter and glass set that I already have. So I thought that would be a great addition. So I picked two of those up. Just looking around, checking for marks. Then I spot more of the Corel um, pieces. These are the dinner plates. They're priced at $3.99, so I decide to leave those behind. But I collect that pattern. It's really pretty. Let's look around some more. I have these green dishes catch my eye, but they are modern, so I leave them behind. They're priced at $3.99. 
Then I come across these Pier 1 plates and they are priced at $3.99. It is a pattern that is very coveted. I'm debating whether to pick those up or not. I am just not sure. These catch my eyes. I, I tend to gravitate towards flowers. I love flowers, so. They are um, modern. They're poppies. Made in China. I leave those behind, but they're really pretty. And they were priced at $3.99 each. These were also very pretty. They were two, two, two fifth. Um, I didn't pick those up because they were priced, I believe, at like five dollars. We're in the knickknack section again. Let's see what else we can find here. These birds, five ninety nine for them. Wow. I leave those behind. They seem to still have an overflow of Christmas ceramic figurines and snow globes. I'm trying to shake it. I'm trying to find out who the maker is actually in the price. Leave that behind. I am now in the kitchenware section. Lots of um, muffin trays. That's a gel one. Baking pans. Ceramic dishes for pies. These are still brand new in the box. They want $7.99 for them. I leave those behind. So we're at the end cap now. Let's see what they have here. I'm in the baggy section now. This local thrift store groups small, similar items in baggies, as you can see. These ceramic scroll napkin holders catch my eye, but they're $7.99, and I'm not sure if I want to pick them up for that price. They're made in Thailand. Let's continue looking. I see these brand new glass coasters in their box. They're brand new. And then they have some wood coasters in the back. But I'm going to pass on those. Let's see what else we can find. Still looking. Let's see what else we can find here. I spot these two um, pepper and salt shakers for $3.99. I think they're pretty unique. So I put them in my cart so I could research them. I'm not sure if I'll be taking them though. Let's go back and see what else we can find. I see these vintage coasters, but they don't have a very high resale value, so I leave them behind.
I'm now in the metal section. Let's see what we find. It's an end cap, so it's going to be very short and sweet. I really don't see anything of interest. Lots of serving dishes. Lots of platters, and I don't see anything, anything vintage or worthwhile. I'm now in the metal sign section, and immediately this cross catches my eye, but I'm still going to look. Let's look to see what's here. I go back to this cross because I want to see the price. It's $2.99. It's a really nice decorative cross, so I put it in my cart. I then spot these um, what appear to be vintage trays, so let me pull one out, look underneath, and it's made by the Tin Box Company, so it's a modern piece made to look vintage, so I leave that behind. So let's see what else is here. Lots of organizational baskets. I like this basket here. It is made in China. We leave that behind. Lots of uh, organizational baskets. I pick up this Starburst metal piece but it is slanted. I'm not sure how one would display it. It's interesting. I like the color, but I'm leaving that behind. I then spot this um, plate holder and I'm in need of plate holders, but I leave that behind. Let's look on these top shelves, see if there's anything we can pick up. I don't see anything. I spot this really nice oil painting, which I think is vintage, but it's not signed, so I leave it behind. This is just a cute little wall decor. $1.99 is what they want for it. We'll leave that behind. Let's look inside this box. I like the top. It's $5.99. It's needlepoint on the top. It's pretty clean. Has a mirror. Oh, I regret not picking this up. I left it behind. This is just a storage box made to look like a book. Here is a display box. We leave that behind. $9.99 is what they want for it. Leave that behind. Anything else? I don't see anything else. Let's see. 
more wall decor. Let's see. Let's look up here. That's a friend's wall decor. I thought this was pretty cool. They want $10.99 for it, so I'm leaving that behind. It's a modern piece anyways. I just thought it was a really cool um, truck there. A pinata. Hey, look at this pinata. It's a mini pinata. And they want a dollar forty nine for it. Hey, this is very cool. I leave that behind. Let's look on the bottom shelves. I like this. I like this welcome sign. I like the owl. It's two ninety nine. I leave that behind. Now I'm in the decorative plate section. Look at all these decorative plates. It's a 1978 one. They have some ceramic um, wall hangings. Let's see what else they have. Look on the top shelf here. There's some more. There's um, some snow globes and some paperweights. Oh, look at this owl. Let's look on the upper shelf. They have all the little knickknacks there. I really liked this bird plate. This was really nice. It's a frosted glass with birds on it. These are just some ceramic wall hangings. They want $3.99 a piece, so I just leave them behind. I'm looking to see if they have any markings, and they don't. They do look vintage, though. Love. Love makes the world go round. They have this cute little dog here. And this cute little owl. It's like a little, it's a modern piece. It has like a solar panel. It is $5.99. I really like it. Lots of cute little trinkets. Another little owl. I love owls. They bring good luck. $3.99 is what they want for this piece. And this cute piggy. Oh, I fell in love with it. It has a stopper. It's a piggy bank. It's really cute. Okay, friends, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this thrifting video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you on the next one.